Yo, dude and dudettes, now I've just had some toast so if you see some crumbs there, I don't really care because if you do judge me on the level or resolve of my character and intellect from the fact that I've got a few crumbs on my face, well really to be honest I would be judging you, not the opposite way around. So yeah, the people who are cool won't judge me and the people who aren't cool will judge me because they don't understand that intellect, character, beauty isn't at all relating to some crumbs on your face. So anyway, we are back with another vlog. It is lockdown today. It is the first day of lockdown. It's the 24th of March uh, 2020. I was going to start putting the dates on these videos as well, wasn't I? Anyway, 24th of March. Uh, we are going to get food. But well, that is all we are doing. For some reason, my grandparents have this crazy idea of going out to get food themselves, even though my granddad is in his 80s and has underlying health conditions, so we are going to sway them from not doing that, but I don't even get it. Honestly, I don't even get it. So yeah, we are doing that, we're going to get food, and then we're going to come straight back here, and um, yeah, I'll probably go out for a walk, because you're still allowed to do that, so that's okay, and uh, we're just getting on with some stuff. Obviously, I'm going to do, I'm going to adapt a little bit. I'm going to be doing a bit more with crypto. As I've said, I'm going to be doing, I'm still going to be doing reselling, of course. I'm still going to be getting parcels out at probably once a week, something like that. So long as Royal Mail and Hermes are still going. And yeah, just, just do some admin stuff, basically. And if you guys want to see that and also want to see a bit of my daily life, I will continue vlogging. If not, then I suppose don't watch these videos or something until we get back to a bit of more normal, more normal normality and then I can get back to some vlogs that are more to do with that reselling side of things but for now it's going to be just whatever I'm doing really. You ready to go? Yeah. First day of lockdown. Oh god. Lockdown. I know, it's lockdown. only essential shopping though. There's no charity shop. Uh, and, well, we won't be open will we? No they won't. Although if we were you know sneak out. <gasps> Boy, what Boris don't know can't harm it. No joking. Oh. I'm joking. Bojo. I'm joking people. I'm joking. Bojo. Bojo. Uh, Bojo. Oh yeah everyone looks lovely that now bojo i heard that last night it's so good so yeah we are off to town got the old adaption on the car which is cool and uh yeah we're gonna get some food got my new jumper on still because it's so cool so we are at sainsbury's and we couldn't drop off the hermes stuff now we don't know whether this is a nationwide thing or whether it is a local thing but there was a, a sort of a billboard type thing wasn't there that said uh, we are no longer able to accept any parcels and then it said thanks for management or something so i don't know whether that's the, that specific hermes shop or that bargain booze has just uh, said we're not accepting parcels or whether it's a nationwide thing um but yeah it's a little bit worrying because i want to get these parcels out we're going to go up to hartford anyway at some point after the shop and see if we can get them out there if not i don't know i mean i'll maybe try and get a refund off hermes and then try and send them out via royal mail if royal mail's still going and if royal mail turns out not to be still going at some point in the next few days or a few weeks or whatever then i basically will just have to close down the shop so i am outside sainsbury's uh these temporary closure of the cafe signs think before you buy signs over here we are seeing huge demand for certain products including pain relief and stuff like that so everything is like fully stocked again in the supermarket i don't know why or how but we must have ordered a crazy amount of stuff oh the tins aren't well i'm there the tins aren't and i guess the pasta isn't but everything else is pretty much fully stocked which is really cool so all the people who have panic bought now are just whacking themselves in the face because there's loads of things here anyway obviously the tins are gone and the pasta's gone but all the fresh stuff is back uh, you know meats are back everything's back all the veggie stuff is back and everything you know you can't really complain so just out, out of the supermarket now obviously i have to head up to uh hartford to see if i can drop hermes off there otherwise it will be plan b yes yeah, so in the supermarket today it was perfectly fine there wasn't too many people in there there was a few people in there there wasn't tons and tons of people in there but yeah there was loads of food it was perfectly fine wasn't it yeah. there was tons of tons of food in there so, so the whole oh. panic buying 
thing. It's it's not really done anything for anyone, to be honest. It's I mean now people well, are just, just gonna have supermarket workers yeah, have a bloody it, trauma. Yeah, it just made the workers basically have more more work to do and stuff in a short amount of time. But I mean but those people who have panic bought essentially they've now got more to get through. But the worry is that they go in there and they buy even more, thinking that they constantly need more. And you get into that kind of treadmill of just people fearing that they always need more and more to stock up on but a good thing that measures have been put in place in that supermarket there and probably across the country is the whole uh, three items per customer on a certain item or two items on a in-demand item right yeah so uh, yeah it's pretty good so that's good so that'll stop it and hopefully the lines will start to kind of equalize again hopefully I really I really really want the whole um, oh there's a police car going by actually mm -hmm. I really want the uh, peas in there the processed peas I really want them in there I think we've got what have we got we've got one or two cans haven't we at home but yeah. So we're okay for a bit, we're okay for a, a week or so, but yeah, God, when I, I you want go, them in. When you go to drop off the Hermes at Hartford, have yeah. a look in that shop and see if they Mate, I bet that's tins. emptied, that shop, <laughs> blooming hell. So we are up at Hartford, we managed to drop off the parcels, they're Hooray! still they're still taking parcels. She doesn't know for how long at all. And also, in there, because it's a little convenience shop as well, a corner shop, we got some peas, yay! Thank God we've got them, so <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll get back home now anyway, get back indoors and stay safe stay safe stay safe so i am back now i've got to be a bit quieter because my dad is actually on a skype call downstairs he's working from home my mum is probably going to be working from home tomorrow but we don't know yet it's still a bit uncertain but yeah so uh, I am going to go on to the Royal Mail website to see what's happening with Royal Mail through this sort of uh, stuff that's happening and uh, we'll see if they're continuing to go because I don't want to really be sending too much with Hermes anymore because obviously my local shop or the one that's most local to me is saying we're refusing parcels and then the one I've just been is very uncertain as well. So if Royal Mail is continuing to go and they feel pretty solid with that, or they've got a pretty solid statement with that, then I will uh, continue to go ahead with my plan. If um, they aren't, then I will probably just shut down my eBay store temporarily and yeah, just adapt a little bit, I suppose. And um, I just have to make money somehow doing something else for, for, for a few weeks. But yeah, we'll see. It's a right old situation. So Royal Mail are actually planning to stay open, at least for now. I think the plan is going to remain the same, which is obviously I've got a five day working dispatch on and I will be sending out via Royal Mail and I'll literally um, bag things up into the postal sacks and literally go to the delivery office and hand them over very quickly and then walk out. And I will do that when we go for our weekly shop so that then I'm not doing any unnecessary trips out necessarily. So unnecessary trips out necessarily. Anyway, you know what I mean. So that's the plan. The eBay store is going to stay open, fingers crossed, and uh, be able to make a few sales at least. I'm going to use promoted listings, and I'm going to use best offer, uh, not best offer, sorry, um, send offers to watchers with the best effect I can, so that then the five day working dispatch, as I mentioned in that video, doesn't actually negatively affect me too much. Obviously it will negatively affect me, but if I use those two things um, aside from it, then it might just help me a little bit and it might kind of just relieve a little bit of that negative effect of the five day working dispatch. But yeah, that's the plan anyway. I wanna buy some, oh no. They're all up, god damn it. One, 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 Tron's on one, one. Crap, I wanna buy some Tron. I don't want to buy it on an update though. What do I do? Do I wait? Do I buy? Do I wait? Do I buy? I want to buy. I want to buy. Right, we've got to go to the um, pools. Currency converter. Then uh, put in here GBP. And then put in here GRX. Bugger this bad boy. Put in here 500 quid. 51,000 tron. <sighs> do I risk it? Or do I buy? Because tomorrow, it might have gone up even more. And then I get less. But either way, I'm buying it. Whether it's today or tomorrow, and I don't care if it goes up or down, so... Bugger it. Bugger it. 